Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Yonky with Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition, Episode 68. In this one, we're going to bring back Dawn Star as our follower. I am honored that you have chosen me. And apparently we're going to be dressing up in drag and doing a play. Okay. Well, the show must go on. Let's roll. It must be that uh, that stage that went by. I'll be back for you in a minute. Excuse me, you're in my way, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for our replacement actor. I'm the understudy you needed. You? You're the replacement? Yeah, what of it? Well, why aren't you in costume? If you're going to be playing Lady Fourteen Flowers, you'll need your dress. There's no time for you to run back and get yours. I'm sure we can find one to fit in the back. Though most of our performers are less broad. You're calling me a broad? Did they give you a copy of the script when they sent you over here? I have this script here. Is this it? Let me see that. No, 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 no! This is all wrong! They sent you with the old script. Bloody Actors Guild is staffing itself with water buffaloes, I tell you. Here, have it back! The script's recently been revised, so even if you're familiar with the old version, read it again for the changes before you head on stage. Why was the script changed? Well, a southern noble funded the location and travel for us, but wanted to make a few tweaks. We couldn't afford to miss the exposure. Our writer wasn't that happy, but we accepted the revisions and here we are. I'm sure your Actors Guild told you that we have standard rates. We'll happily pay you the going rate for a lead, especially since this is short notice. Ruin your scene and you get nothing. Just like normal. Understand? What do you consider ruining the scene? Just get at least half the lines correct and the crowd will figure out what's happening. Any less than that and it becomes one of those obscure plays no one likes. <coughs> now, read that script over. Come talk to me when you've got it and we'll get you into final costume and onto the stage. All right, well, let's read the script. Using the stand, you're able to place both the scripts for your scene side by side and compare them. Seems you have only a few lines for the scene. They are mostly reacting to the other actor. The scene reenacts a historical moment in the formation of the Jade Empire. There seem to be only six lines for you to remember, and on the script, there are acting notes that should make it easy to remember the proper lines. Read the notes from the first half of the scene. You examine the first page of scripts, which covers the first three of your six lines. First line. First line seems the same in both scripts. It is simply responding to a question about the color of banners. Your line has you commenting that white banners are flying. Read notes from the second line. Second line seems to be one of the lines that was changed between the scripts. There are two versions of it. You're responding to a question about the time of day, and in incisive course of script, you speak of the heavens sending a message at dusk and the night is coming on fast. In the edited version, the time is midday, and you would speak about the Flower Guardians, an obvious dig at the Lotus Assassins. Hey, I could get in some trouble here. Third line. Third line is the same in both scripts, and you respond to a question. As the acting notes direct, the key element lies in that a decision was reached on the edge of a great plane. All right, second half of the scene. The second page of the script which contains your last three of the six lines. Fourth line. This line seems to have two versions and must have been edited. By the in the script written by Incisive Chorus, the theme of the heavens reaching out to Emperor Tien is explored again. And your character comments that seasons change from place to place. In the edited version, your character comments that warmth can hide an icy heart. This comment leads to a thinly veiled condemnation of the Emperor. I could really get somebody in trouble here. This line is the same between both scripts and the director's notes point that you'll be answering roughly who did the Emperor turn to? In the script the Emperor turned to the heavens themselves. And in the sixth line, the sixth line seems the same across both scripts. The character comments about how a shooting star traces the border across the sky. Alright, that's it. And finish your study of the scripts. So, white banners fly. If we're going to ruin the play, which, you know, is what we do, 
not totally ruin it because we want to make get paid for this. We want me to talk about the flower guardians. And third one, I forget what the third one is. I'll remember when I see the prompt. Fourth one, we got to talk about an icy heart. Fifth one, we talk about the heavens. And the sixth one, we talk about how awesome the emperor is or something. Let's do it. Um, yeah. Uh, God, I don't want the episode to happen. And halfway in between, so let's just cut this one short. This one, this has been your Hunky Hunky. Let's play Jade Empire Special Edition. Stay tuned for episode 69, dude! And I hope that you will see me next time.